Hello and welcome everyone. This is a wrap up for 2023 and I'd like it to be centered this time on my knitting projects. So I have a couple of different projects that I'm really, really excited to share with you today. I want to start with one that is a secret because it's a Christmas gift for Brian and he is currently at the grocery store. So I need to be kind of quick about this. I'm making him a pair of the broom fingerless gloves. And it's so soft and squishy and luxurious. And I think he's going to love the colors of this one so much. I made the same pair for my dad for Christmas. He's coming over today. We're celebrating our Christmas early with him. And then he's going out of town. And then I have this next one that's, I just separated out the thumb. So we're really close to the end. Since it is a secret, I have had limited time in which I can knit on this because usually he's around. So I've been knitting in the morning before he wakes up. I've also been a little bit distracted by some other knitting project that I'll talk to you about in just a moment. But I want to first say before I forget that if you are interested in knowing about the fibers and the patterns that I've used, I'll post a link down below to my Ravelry page. I'm still recovering from being sick, so I feel a little short of breath. It is a beautiful, gray, rainy day, and it's just marvelous. What a perfect way to spend our Christmas. Anyways, this is my halibut sweater by Caitlin Hunter in Spin Cycle Metamorphic Yarns the colors gray plum and gray rose for the fish. And you can see all the little fishy tails have been complete. The head is gonna be somewhere down here. And I'm madly in love with this project. This has been such a pleasure. Not only is the pattern wonderful and intuitive and straightforward and just a joy to work on, I also have been really, really madly in love with these fibers and feel like I wouldn't mind doing another project in the future with the metamorphic base. I am just, I can't. <laughs> I have so many good things to say about all of this. And and the, the rows are really easy to memorize the chart and it's also a little bit addictive because it's just so exciting to see this fish come alive. And it's also really easy to make goals for the day. So like one of my goals was to complete the tail fin and now my goal is to get to the gills and then tomorrow maybe my goal will be to get to the eyes. I don't know actually if I'll have much time tomorrow because Brian and I are going on a very very special caving trip and we have a friend who is a very experienced caver and she's taken us out on another trip before and we've had this one planned for almost a year now. So it's been a long time in the making. We had to get a permit and we have to get a key because it's a locked cave. It's not open to the public, but it's a living cave that still has really intact formations. So I am I was really worried that I wouldn't be healthy enough to go, but I think tomorrow I'll be feeling really great. So cross your fingers. I want to go to that cave. I can't miss it. It's This is a once in a lifetime thing. I've also made a lot of progress on my Emily's favorite socks. I am almost ready for the toe on my second sock. So this is my second sock and it basically this one, the first one is ready for the toe and this one I've just been playing catch up to get to the toe so that I can do the toes together. And just staggering the process really helps me think of these socks as a single project. Even though you obviously, for most people you need two socks, one for each foot. It's really easy to isolate one sock and think of it as its own project. And then when you're done, you don't really have momentum anymore to finish the second sock. So my process is just to like, stagger the progress. And so I always have two socks being worked on almost at the same time. And I know there are two at a time socks where you can actually knit the two socks on the same line together, but I just haven't, it hasn't appealed to me yet. And maybe one day it will, 
but I really like working with double pointed needles when doing ankle bound. I have another project that has been, this is like my, when I just need some time, a little space to fill. So it's not a priority sock at all, but it is another DRK Every Day by Andrea Mowry. And this one is a toe up and I'm actually really enjoying the fiber. It has neons, which is not something I, I tend to gravitate towards. But because there's so many neutrals in this, I think it really offsets that, that very bright neon. And I find it really charming. So this will be a nice little summer sock, I think. And again, not a priority. It's just nice to have something really simple to work on when, when I need that, that kind of a knit. And then the last thing I want to talk about is... This is a sweater I started a while ago, and it's now on, it's just on some scrap yarn because I took the, I needed the, the cable. Um, this is spring, the spring fling sweater by the Petite Knitter. And I was really excited about this project initially, but got a little discouraged because my contrasting color is not very contrasting. And as this is a color work patterned uh, sweater, it just, it doesn't pop as much as I would like to, it to. There's, these are flowers, they're supposed to be flowers, and it's a lot of work for not a whole lot of payout. And so I just kind of got discouraged and was like, do I really want to finish this? But I don't have the heart to pull it out yet because I do think it's still really pretty. And so I might just finish the color work section up quick sooner than later and then just do the rest of the body in a solid color and maybe even turn it into a vest we'll see I don't know yet but I'm not ready to pull it out so we'll see it's not a priority though and it's been sitting around for a couple of months now so that's where we're at those are my current knitting projects and I'm excited I'm real excited about the direction that my knitting is going in. I feel like I'm really starting to kind of hone in on the fibers I like, the colors I like, the styles I like, the things that I want to wear, and that's just a really good feeling. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the new year. Bye. Yeah, so you're through the drop, right? No. Oh. Yeah, I was. I wanted to see if I could fit over this hump, but I can't. So, I mean, under, like between. Oh, okay. So I have to go over. But as I just, we just passed the back. Okay. This is the cone rim, I'm assuming. Yeah. It's annoying. It's annoying, even for short people. Okay, let's get into that horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. All right, when you come theory. I'm I think I'm clear enough for you to find your way past this hump. So, Brian? Yeah. Before you come through, let me get out of your way. Uh -huh. But um sorry, I didn't realize I was blinding you. Uh well, now you can't see. Okay. Can you see over my hand? Uh -huh. Is pointing. That's uh -huh. the direction we're going in. Okay. All right. Oh, I see the pelican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sitting perched up there. Oh no, I thought it was this one right here. Oh, because that also looks like a pelican. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's it. I'm sorry. You're right. That's the pelican. <laughs> that's definitely the pelican. Wow. This is a cool room. I did, I did, I was saying standing earlier. Oh. All right. Oh, good. Oh, I'm glad I was doing all that. That was a shoulder dislocation. Oh, God.